Hi everyone, Emily here with Secure It. Today let's talk about the Agile 40. Now if you're looking to store your guns, ammo, and gear in the Agile 40, you've got a couple different options. The first is stacked on top of the Agile 52 like you can see here. The second is actually bolting the Agile 40 to the side of the Agile 52. And the third is using it as a standalone safe. Now there is one thing that you need to consider if you choose to use it as a standalone safe, which is the location of the keypad. In its default state, it's located at the bottom of the safe door. But today we're gonna to show you just how easy it is to relocate the keypad to the top of the safe door so that you can have fast, easy access to your guns, ammo, and gear. So let's get started. To get started, we recommend unboxing everything and laying it all out in front of you. First, place the base panel, part A, on the floor with the raised edge or lip to the front where the door will be. On the inside of the door, you will find all of the hardware you'll need for assembly. Remove the bags and place the hex nuts, part F, and 5mm hardware, part G, in the base so you don't lose any of the pieces. This will also give you easy access when putting the safe together. Make sure you do not place the keys in the Agile at any time. Take off the protective clear strips from the louvered back panel, part C, and throw them away. Set the louvered back panel into the base. Finger tighten a hex nut on the center stud to secure the louvered back panel. Set in one of the side panels into the base. Where the side panel meets the louvered back panel, there will be a hole halfway up. Using the 5mm screw and hex nut, secure the side to the back. Install a lock rail, part E, and hand tighten it down with a hex nut, part F. Set in the other side panel into the base. Secure the side to the back using a 5mm screw and a hex nut. This will be the same process as with the other panel with the hole halfway up. Install another lock rail, part E, and hand tighten it down with a hex nut, part F. Flip the door upside down and place it in the front of the safe so the keypad is located at the top of the door. Place the top, part A, onto the safe with the raised edge or lip facing the front of the safe. The top will now hold the rest of the parts together while you finish assembling the safe. Next, remove the Agile nameplate and make sure you don't lose the small screws. We'll need these again later. Open the door using the key. Secure the sides to the door frame using a 5mm screw and hex nut, following the same process as the other corners with the hole halfway up. Install the remaining lock rails, part E, and hand tighten them down with a hex nut, part F, at the two bottom front and top four locations.
Hand tighten hex nuts at the top of the back panel and at the top and bottom of the door frame. Using a wrench, tighten all hex nuts. Do not over tighten them. If you force them, you can break the threaded stud. They just need to be snug. One thing to note is you will have one extra hex nut once you're finished with this process. Now that the safe is assembled, we'll work on flipping the door components. Remove the six screws holding the back of the door panel from the door. Be sure to remove the top one last. Carefully remove the back without pulling the power wire off the battery box. Unplug the power wire from the battery box using the clip at the top of the plug. Remove the four screws that hold on the keypad. Then flip the keypad over and be careful not to pinch the wires. Loosely put the four screws back in the keypad. Tighten the four screws that hold the keypad. Remove the handle screw from the center hub. Then remove the lock rods and remove the handle. Using pliers, remove the retaining nut that holds the handle guide. Now, remove and flip the handle guide 180 degrees. Reinstall the handle with it pointing down.
Next, reinstall the lock rods, making sure they are in the locked position and the handle is still facing down. Now reinstall the handle screw. If needed, you can use blue Loctite. Test the lock rod and lock function. Plug the power wire back into the battery box, making sure that the clip is at the top. Starting at the top, reinstall the six screws that hold on the door panel, but do not tighten them yet. Here you can see Steven using his foot at the bottom to help hold and align the panel as he goes. Now tighten the door panel screws. Lock the door handle with the door open and remove the keys. Finally, install the Agile nameplate. Insert a brand new Energizer 9 volt battery into the back of the door and then test the electronic keypad. Any remaining hardware can be used to further secure the Agile 40 to another Agile safe. The Agile line features knockdown technology, making changes like this one extremely easy. For more information on the Agile 40 and other products that we offer, visit securegunstorage.com.